fresh garden pasta with zucchini and tomatoes, basil, parm. It's of the season. It's a great weeknight meal. And you're gonna see why you're gonna make this on repeat this summer. Let's do it. To start, we're gonna get the pasta going. So I'm using a smaller penne. I just like penne because it works well with the size ingredients we're gonna use. And it's one that can really take on flavor as in it takes on the sauce that kind of is created in the middle of it. And I just really like it. So we're gonna start by putting it right into some boiling water. Now the water is boiling. An important part here is always salt your boiling water. And that is because this is your one time to actually season the pasta. It doesn't all go into the pasta, but it does help season it. So we're gonna let that cook. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna get a little bit of ghee melting on a skillet. Now, what is ghee? Ghee is clarified butter, meaning all the milk solids have been taken out of it. That means we can actually put ghee at a higher heat than we can just regular butter and it won't brown as quickly. So it's a great thing to add the butter flavor without worrying about it getting burnt. So I have the ghee melting and now let's talk about zucchini. So in the summer we have, if you plant zucchini or if you go to a market, you're gonna see zucchini or possibly have way too much of it. So I make sure to always pick them when they're a little bit smaller to medium because I don't wanna to have to take all the seeds out. As they get bigger, they have way too big of seeds. So what I'm gonna do is just cut these in half lengthwise and you can see I'm just giving these a nice kind of half moon chop. Now, you can also, if you wanna take them smaller, don't feel bad, you can just take some of these pieces and you can quarter them beyond that. It kind of is a personal preference. I like usually still seeing but do you see, I like still seeing what I'm eating and I like the size kind of, of that I'm going, but see how these are gonna be smaller. It's kind of whatever you want. I like these big half moons. So what I'm gonna do now is get my zucchini ready because what this is, this is the essence of summer in a quick weeknight pasta. And that to me is what it's all about, is actually enjoying summer and enjoying the produce and making something with it. Because sometimes I feel like we plant or have zucchini, like what do we do with it? Make bread, you don't have to just make bread or a cake with it. You can actually cook it, it's delicious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right in here. And what I'm gonna also, you're gonna notice to do, is I am not going to salt it right away. Because when you salt something like zucchini, all it does is draw out all the moisture that's in that zucchini, but I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna let these actually brown and saute. And if you know what I mean, let me show you. See when I put it in, see how that's actually browning? Now, if we would put the salt and salt them all, it would really inhibit that browning process. So I'm gonna let this sit here and brown, let the pasta cook, then we'll get this all put together. It's really a simple dish. I drained the pasta. It was just cooked. We want it al dente, so it means it has a little bit more cooking to do, a little bit of tooth to it. I'm gonna keep it hot there. I have my cup of saved pasta water right here. Always save it. And that's gonna help us have a sauce that binds together because the pasta water has starch in it from actually cooking. So you can see now these are nicely browned. What I did was I turned them once and I used a, I used a tongs just because I feel like it's a little bit easier to make sure each one. So the reason we're going to the effort of doing this is we just added so much flavor to these by browning them and sauteing them. And if we would have salted them, they really wouldn't have wanted to brown. It would have just kept drawing out moisture from them and they would have more steamed. And that's not what you want. Kind of like when you cook a mushroom. So now we're gonna keep those on the back. We have that nice butter, ghee still in there. What I have here are my tomatoes. So you can use grape, cherry tomatoes, just off the vine. These are one of those things that usually, if you've grown these or if you're going out this time of year, they're plentiful because when you have one that produces well, it's like zucchini. You have them for friends, you have them for yourself. And what's great about them is they're usually on the sweet side. They have a lot of flavor in a condensed form. And you don't have to worry as much about, sometimes with big tomatoes, they look good, but they don't taste good. Even if you buy these in a store, they usually taste good year round. So I'm cutting them just in half. I'm gonna leave a few whole. That's kind of a personal preference again, but I like the look of it. So I have my oil that is still warm. That ghee is gonna have all that flavor. And we're gonna put the tomatoes right in there because we want them to do a quick cook. I want them to maintain that structure to them, but I want them to start releasing some of their juices and their actual liquid inside because that's gonna help flavor and create a sauce for us. So we're gonna put these on and let them cook for a few minutes until they start breaking down. Then we're just gonna finish it off with the rest of the ingredients and tie it all together. The tomatoes are now syrupy, so it only takes a few minutes and they break down. And by syrupy, it just means their juices are kind of releasing and cooking, but they're still maintaining their structure, which is what I like. So I'm adding a good dose of garlic. That's gonna add that fresh kick of flavor. It's gonna really complement the zucchini and the tomato, and then a little bit of red pepper flake. Now, I like to do, you know, a little bit more. You can do a little bit less if you don't like the heat. But now we're just gonna stir that around. 
because garlic we don't want to burn. We don't want the garlic to get too hot. So that's why we're just doing it for a few seconds here, 30 seconds to a minute. Then what we're gonna do is finish all this up right here with the hot pasta. So our pasta is hot and al dente. We're gonna add in this beautiful, look at how those tomatoes, it's got like syrupy and like all that garlic now is infused in that liquid. So we're adding them right into our pasta pot, which is just a bigger pot to actually be able to put everything together in. We're gonna add our zucchini that we cooked and it's browned, so it has all that flavor in it from the ghee. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of cream. So the cream you can actually add at a heat and it doesn't break, but it adds a little bit, kind of tempers out that acidic tomato, it has so much flavor. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of pasta water, just right over here, and now we're gonna stir. So we're just gonna stir this all together. That cream is gonna kind of marry together with that pasta water. It's gonna actually infuse into the noodles. And this is when the noodles actually finish cooking because they were slightly al dente, which is what you want. And look at how this maintains everything. The structure of the tomatoes is still there. The pasta is absorbing that cream, that pasta water. And the reason we save more pasta water is if we need to and it gets dry, you just add a little bit more. And what's great is since it has all the starch from cooking the pasta, it binds together. So now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest. This just kind of pops everything. It wakes everything up. Not a lot, not so much that you're like, why is there lemon in here? But just enough that it wakes it all up. And of course, some cheese. So we need some Parmesan, freshly grated right in there. And I'm gonna let all this just cook together for about one to two minutes. Then we'll finish it up with some fresh basil and we'll eat it. So this is now just cooked together a couple minutes and you can see it's really bound together. Now I did salt it when I put the tomatoes in. I added just some salt to it, but I wanna always at the end finish it with a little bit more salt to taste, just taste it. And you know, it's one of those things where, mm, it smells delicious. So to finish it off, we have to have some fresh basil. The fresh basil, of course, is right from the garden. You know, some people like to tear it in because it doesn't then wilt or blacken as bad, but it is going into a warm pasta. So either way, it's gonna darken somewhat. But when you put that in right away, the heat, those essential oils in the basil just hit you. So here right away, you have all that freshness of summer. Look at those tomatoes with the penne, with the zucchini. Of course, to me, you need to do a little bit of fresh parm on top. That to me is not, it's not really an option. It's just something you have to do. And don't even think of the bottled stuff. You need the fresh for this. And we're gonna just a little bit, tear a little bit more basil on top, right at the end. I mean, this is the essence of summer and it can be a weeknight meal. It seems elevated, but guess what? It's not. It's actually really simple and that's what I love about it. It's like simple at its best. Each flavor comes through. You get the sweetness and yet acidity of the tomatoes. You get that beautiful brown zucchini that has so much flavor. So taking that step to brown, it was super important in the butter because you get this underlying slight butter flavor that mixes with that little bit of cream, not a lot of cream, but a little bit. And with the Parmesan, which has salt in it and is a seasoning, that's why we don't oversalt the dish. Parmesan has a lot of seasoning in it with the salt. And then the fresh basil on top. This is to me, it's that summer garden pasta. And it's what you want. It uses what you have, maybe what there is just ready in the season at a farmer's market in your CSA boxes. And it makes it into a great night, weeknight meal. Add a protein, grilled chicken, maybe some shrimp. I think it would be delicious in it or not. I like it like this. We can go meatless too. That's what we need to do sometimes. And so I hope you make it. Of course, I always hope what you do with this, I hope you make it, but share it around also. Share these videos because when it comes to food, food is meant to be shared. Let other people see how easy this is, how doable this is. Check my website, wiseguide.com, for this recipe and all my other recipes. Until next time, make something good that's in season. It'll make you happy.